Credo Reference is a collection of reference books. So you can browse it just like you're browsing the shelves if you have a topic that you want to look at, like education or health and medicine. And it will show you the topics that we have within the overarching topic. Or you can type in a subject in the search bar. So I'm going to type in diabetes. It's going to come up with a general page about diabetes. You can use a mind map to explore related concepts. Something that it took me a minute to figure out was that you have to double click on the titles or the, the topics here in order to get the, the mind map to move. If you look down this list on the left hand side, you can limit by articles or images. Scrolling down, you can see we have a bunch of articles here and you can filter here on the right hand side. So I want to filter to reference materials, um, the subject that I want to limit it to. I don't know what we have here. Let's do food, drink and nutrition. We only have one collection, so your only option for this collection will be Academic Core. You can sort by media, things that contain images or contain a map. It will also, for some topics, say contains video. We'll just stick with all of it. And then you can filter by date. And because this is a medical topic, I'm going to filter this to the last five years. And it will refresh and show you all of the items that are available given these limitations. Selecting this first one, Pickles Today, it will bring up the entire article. Does this have diabetes in it? Well, you can do a find on the page and it will find it. You can see, yes, diabetes is in this article. If you choose to use this article, up here at the top, you can save it, you can share it. If you're going to share this article, use this right here to share. Don't use this um, address bar because this address bar is tied to this session. So you want to use share and get an option to email or copy the link or embed it. It will also allow you to read this out loud which is helpful if you have problems focusing or if you just want to listen instead of reading. If you click on citation, this brings up four different options for citation, APA, Chicago, Harvard, and MLA. And these are, these are pretty good, but always remember that citation is only correct if your instructor agrees with how you've cited something. So if your instructor wants you to go to Purdue OWL or use a class-based style sheet, please use that in order to cite. But all the information that you need will be available here. If your instructor just says copy what they've got in the database, you'll just copy and paste this into your resource sheet. If you're looking for images, we can go back to our list and click on images. Clicking on any of these will bring up the image inside of the article that it is available in. And right clicking will allow you to save the image as. Scrolling up to the top of the article will give you the option to cite. And then you can cite this image and use it in any of your resources. And that is very quickly how to utilize Credo Reference.